it's been raining this morning and you can see just within a few hours water starts to run down along the footers here you can see it all over here basically he may need a footer tile remember that's gravel perforated pipe to help collect this water and send it down here to the new sump pump sump pit that we're putting in basically we're going to dig a hole down about two and a half feet and put a sump pump a sump pit a basin down in here and a sump pump and then we're going to drill right through this wall right underneath that vent and that will be the discharge so let these guys get started so basically we just fill up these buckets we come right over here to the crawl space door and we go ahead and put that in the wheelbarrow we'll haul that around to the side of the house just use it as fill to help grade away from the foundation. So we've got a really nice, good, clean, deep hole for our pit. We just drop our pit down in there. And you notice that I put the inlet on this side to allow, you know, for expansion to bring a new footer tile, which is gravel perforated pipe, down into the pit. Because remember that we've got water up there. And he may want to put a footer tile that comes along the footer, the inside perimeter, and bring that right over here to the pit. So next we're going to go ahead and core through this foundation wall. This is one brick thick, and then there's two block that total eight inches thick. So we're going to go through about 12 inches, and our core drill is only eight inches deep, so we're going to have to go through from the other side. I already made the measurements. I want to come through right here. So we've got our discharge line coming through the wall and now we're ready to go ahead and put the sump pit back in here. And you can see we're getting some water down here, a lot of water, which is really good. Next, we're gonna go ahead and set our sump pump down into the pit. This pump has a 10 foot cord, so we've got plenty to work with here. Make sure it sits squarely on the bottom. We're going to be plumbing from this discharge pipe over to over to the sump pump the riser so let's go ahead and cut a few pieces of pipe okay so now we're ready to plumb this up remember we're going to have to put our no hub band on here so let's go ahead and hook up the check valve first make sure that you get all the way into that rubber piece And we want to loosen up our clamp a little bit. Slide it down over the hard rubber. And we're going to tighten that up with a 5 16 inch drill bit. It's as tight as that drill can make it. Now we're ready to put our 90 on. So let's take a look. You can see our pump sitting in the bottom of the pit. That's going to come up. We'll put a 90 on here. And this is going to fit perfectly together. So let's go ahead and glue that last piece together. We're ready for our Oatly medium bond cement. Put that on there. Now all we're going to do is just push down on the pump because the check valve can come apart a little bit. Push that right together. There we go through the wall, out, and outside here, you can see the discharge comes down and just we're just splashing it out on the ground away from the house. Small base of gravel down in the bottom of the footer tile, or the perimeter tile, the trench that we're going to lay our perforated pipe in, and we're going to go ahead and connect that right here to the nipple that we cut off. That brings the water right into the sump pit. The way we do that 
real simple. We just go ahead and slice the pipe a few inches, squeeze it together real tight, and then we slide it right into the hole. Want it to stick out uh, a couple inches is good. Now we can lay the rest of this pipe down in the trench and cover it with gravel and we'll be done inside. Okay, so we've got everything installed. We're gonna go ahead and cover with gravel. You can see our sump pump down in the sump basin. Comes up, check valve, arrow pointing upwards. You can see that. Comes up, comes out through the discharge. We're gonna go outside. We're gonna go outside and plumb that down to the ground and let it splash out. That's what we're doing here today. You can see our our, our footer tile, our perforated pipe, comes into the sump pit. Got a small base of gravel. Paul's getting ready to cut that off at the other end, and then we'll cover that up with gravel. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains, reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.